Hi, welcome to our brand new Microsoft Azure Fundamental AZ900 Dummy Questions 2022. In this video, we are going to discuss all the dummy questions of Microsoft Azure 900 exam. I'm your host Kushal Mehta and let's get started. Question 8. Which of the following statements is correct? And the options are Option 1. Data stored in Azure Storage Account will have at least two copies in the primary region. Option 2. Data stored in your Azure Storage Account will have at least three copies in the secondary region. Option 3. Data stored in your Azure Storage Account will have at least two copies in the secondary region. And option 4. Data stored in your Azure Storage Account will have at least three copies in the primary region. And the correct answer is option 4. Option 4 is the correct answer. Data in your Azure storage account is always replicated three times in the primary region. The Azure storage account copies the data three times within the primary region and keeps them synchronous with each other. It is also asynchronously copied to the secondary region. An Azure storage account contains all Azure storage data objects, blobs, files, queues, tables and disks. Option 1 is incorrect. Data in your Azure storage account is always replicated three times in the primary region. Option 2 and 3 are incorrect. Data replication to the secondary region requires optional settings and this means it does not always retain a copy. This shouldn't be assumed in the above scenario. Question 9. Your company leverages multiple regions to deploy Azure virtual machines. Users in each office are required to create Azure resources only in the region of the country in which their office is located. Which is the best solution from the below options to make sure that these rules are being followed correctly? Number 1. Resource group. Number 2. Compliance policy. Number 3. Azure policy. Number 4. Azure rules. And the answer is option 3. Explanation. Option 3 is the correct answer. Azure policy allows you to apply your organization standards and assess compliance with them on a large scale. You can use Azure policies to apply policies to management groups or resource groups that limit the space available for creating resources. This policy applies to all subscriptions and resources under that management group by only allowing the creation of resources in that region. You can define policies used to limit use of Azure resources to only the region in which each office is located. Question 10. You plan to build a web application using multiple Azure virtual machines. The requirement is to ensure that the services running on the virtual machine do not stop in the event of a single data center failure. Proposed solution. Deploy virtual machines in two or more regions. In this, the most appropriate solution to meet the above requirements. Number one, yes. Number two, no. And the answer is option two. Explanation. No is the correct answer. A single region is made up of multiple availability zones. Therefore, to prevent a single data center failure, you only need to use multiple availability zones and do not need to have a multi-region configuration. In addition, multi-region support is not optimal in terms of architectural configuration because it is difficult to link virtual machines across regions. Question 11. Which services provides network traffic filtering for multiple Azure subscriptions and virtual networks? Number 1. Azure Firewall Number 2. Application Security Group Number 3. Azure DDoS Protection Number 4. Network Security Group And the answer is Option 1. Explanation Option 1 is the correct answer. Azure Firewall allows you to limit traffic to different virtual networks with multiple subscriptions. Option 2 is incorrect. Application security groups are services for grouping virtual machines and managing access within a virtual network. Option 3 is incorrect. Azure DDoS protection is a service 
that prevents distributed denial of service attacks. Option 4 is incorrect. A network security group is a service that manages access within a virtual network. Question 12. Which deployment method should you choose to reduce downtime for the application you are deploying? And the options are Option 1. Multi-AZ deployment Option 2. Multi-region deployment Option 3. Single AZ deployment Option 4. Multi-subnet deployment And the correct answer is Option 1. Explanation Option 1. Azure's architectural configuration is built around regions and availability zones. Each region is a separate geographical area. Each region is further made up of multiple availability zones. A multi-AZ configuration can increase availability so that downtime does not occur, even if one data center fails. Therefore, multi-AZ is the correct answer. Question 13. What are the security benefits of storing data in the Azure Public Cloud? And the options are Option 1. Azure staff can protect your data. Option 2. Users have full control over their data. Option 3. Data content can be monitored on the Azure side. And number 4. Protection is automatically implemented without the need for users to manage their own data security measures. And the correct answer is Option 2. Explanation. Option 2 is the correct answer. In Azure, all the data used in applications is completely controlled by the user and Azure themselves do not have the authority to access the data. Options 1 and 3 are incorrect. Azure does not have permission to access the data. Option 4 is incorrect. Users are required to take measures such as data encryption themselves. Question 14. Please fill in the blank. Your company should use Dash to automatically add watermarks to Microsoft Word documents that contain credit card information. And the options are Number 1. Azure Policy Number 2. Azure DDoS Protection Number 3. Azure Information Protection And Number 4. Azure Active Directory Identity Protection And the correct answer is Option 3. Explanation Option 3 is the correct answer. Azure Information Protection can label content to detect, classify, and protect documents and emails. Option 1 is incorrect. Azure policies are for applying organizational rules and checking compliance of resources. It does not have document protection features. Option 2 is incorrect. Azure DDoS protection is a service to prevent distributed denial of service attacks and does not have document protection features. Option 4 is incorrect. Azure Active Directory Identity Protection is used for identity-based risk analysis using data from Azure Portal and has no document protection capabilities. Thank you for watching this video. Please do not forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Buy our premium AZ bundle with 90% off. Check link in the description.